This is the uh, mind map for cell biology. Right? It's basically everything you need to know for the whole topic. Right? It's kind of all like the little subheadings for it. Starting off with eukaryotes, what you need to do is you need to have a definition of what a eukaryote is. Right? And that's basically something that's got a nucleus um, and it's got organ bound, uh, or membrane bound rather, organelles. The two eukaryotes that you need to know about are plant and animal. You need to know the structure of the plant cell with all the kind of the functions of each individual part. You need to know the structure of the animal cell and the functions of each individual part. We've then got prokaryote. You need a definition of what a prokaryote is. So that's the opposite of eukaryote where it has no nucleus and it has no membrane bound organelles. The main example is a bacteria. You need to know the structure, the function of each individual part. So for example, some of them have um, flagella and what flagella are and then for movement. In this, there are two required practicals. You've got the microscope, which is basically where you need to be able to prepare an onion slide and you need to know how to use a microscope. And you've also got the osmosis required practical which is the one all about the potato and you need to know the method you need to know the variables you need to know what the graph looks like exchange surfaces what we're talking about here is we're talking about where things can pass, pass across a membrane or across from one surface to another surface the first one is alveoli and the second main example is veli now what they have is they have the same sort of characteristics. They've got alveoli, right, which has got a good blood supply, large surface area, and a short diffusion distance, right, which basically means that the membrane is probably one cell thick. And the veli has got exactly the same. In a plant, you've got a leaf. And what you need to do then is you need to know uh, the adaptions of the leaf. Particle movement you need to know three definitions. You need diffusion, you need osmosis, and then you also need active transport. And again, what you need is you need definitions of each one. Diffusion is the movement of particles from a high concentration to a low concentration down a concentration gradient. Osmosis, you add in water and a semi-permeable membrane, Active transport goes the opposite way and requires energy. Cell cycle. Right, so what we've got a cell cycle, we've got our pie chart, and we basically split it up into three sections. This section here is interphase. This section here is cytokinesis. This section here is mitosis. You need to know what happens in each one of those parts of the cell cycle. Cell specialism. We've got muscle, we've got nerve, and we've got sperm. You need to know how each one of those is specialized to do their job. That means how they're adapted from this animal cell over here. Okay. Now there are many others as well that could be chosen, right? but they're then the three main animals. From a plant point of view, you've got phloem, you've got xylem, and you've got root hair. And again, what you need to do is you need to know how they are adapted. Stem cells. There's three main types of stem cells. We've got embryonic, and we've got adult. They are both the human ones, embryonic is in the embryo in the mother and adult is then uh, all the others okay you need to know their jobs their roles what they can do uh, and often what we'll do is we'll start talking about alzheimer's stem cells here right in a plant we've got meristem right they are then the growing part or growing point in a plant the final box is microscopes there are two main types of microscope. 
electron microscope, light microscope. You need to know the difference between them and the advantages and disadvantages of each one. For example, electron is very expensive, which is a disadvantage. Light is much cheaper, which is an advantage. You need to know the AIM equation. It comes up a huge amount on exams, and you need to be able to use it. And to be able to use that, you then need to be able to do unit conversions, right, where it might from micrometers to macrometers to millimeters, centimeters. You need to know the conversions between each one of them. All right. Now, this is then the basics of what you need to know for the cell biology unit. The knowledge test, then what that does then is it adds information to each one of those individuals.